and Silver were unleashed onto the world November 21st, 1999, and with it came a whole new batch of Pokemon. Some were amazing, so they were pretty cool designs and they were strong in battles, but some were not so lucky. I'm your host as always, Kamek Time, and today we're taking a look at the 10 worst Pokemon from Gen 2. Now it's important to keep in mind that just because it is on this list doesn't make it a bad or useless Pokemon to everyone in every situation. Some Pokemon are just meant to be better than others, and even though they're on this list, they still may have good qualities about them. But for whatever reason, they're just annoying or weaker in the game for the most part. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump in with number 10, Quillfish. Now, this is one of those Gen 2 Pokemon that you just kind of forgot about because there's nothing that special about it. It's a water and poison type, and it's clearly based off of a puffer fish. So it gets points for being a decent design and typing is kind of unique, but it has no evolution, and it suffers from what somewhat would call a weaker stat set compared to other Gen 2 water types, such as Meryl, Azumarill, and many others. On top of that, it has a weak move set. It is no wonder we rarely see anyone use Quillfish in battles. Next up is the bug flying type Yanma. And before everyone explodes, yes, I know it has a mega evolution form in recent generations, but we are only talking about generation two. And in generation two, while the Dragonfly Pokemon was a pretty cool looking concept, it is considerably weaker than most Pokemon. If you're looking for a better bug type, then Emerados or Ladian are good options. It would also have been cool if Yanma had been bug and dragon type instead of flying. Overall, it's not the worst Pokemon, but it's not that great either. Head number eight is another weak water type, Corsola. Again, it has no evolution and its stats are very middle of the pack. Its design, however, is pretty cute and kind of based off of Coral Reef, so that makes sense. It kind of gets points for that. However, the one thing that is its major flaw is its typing. It's water and rock type. It's just weird to see a combination like that. And while it's not weak to water type, it is weak to electric type, even though rock type usually resists the electric. It also has a weaker move set than other water types, making it a solid choice for number eight on our list. Generation two also introduced baby Pokemon. And while baby Pokemon are supposed to be weak on purpose, Smoochum is by far my least favorite, and that's why it's our number seven. Its biggest problem is its typing, psychic and ice. Because of this, it's weak to fire, bug, rock, ghost, dark, and steel typing. With so many weaknesses, and with it being a baby Pokemon, Smoochum just can't hold up in battles. While it is one of the cuter Gen 2 Pokemon, it is definitely not one of the better. Next up is the painter Pokemon Smurgle. It is a normal type with pretty middle of the pack stats. The unique thing about Smurgle, however, is that it can learn almost any move. By using the move Sketch after an opponent, they will learn the opponent's move that they just use permanently instead of the move sketch. Well, this mechanic is pretty cool and it is tough to put into practice and get a perfect move set. Plus, since this is a normal type, it will most likely miss out on any stab attack boost unless you learn normal type moves like body slam. Overall, it's not an awful Pokemon, it's just a tricky one to figure out and it's kind of advanced for normal players making it kind of a middle of the pack, not that great Pokemon. Next up, we have Wobbuffet, which is one of the weirdest designed Pokemon of all time. Its tail is actually its head, and it just looks super funky. It is a psychic type, so it's weak to dark, bug, and ghost types. But the worst thing about the Wobbuffet is its moveset. It is very unique in that it cannot be taught any TM or HM moves at all, and it only learns four moves. Destiny Bond, Mirror Coat, Safeguard, and counter. Now while these moves can be powerful if used the right way, this just isn't the type of Pokemon you want to bring into battle on a regular basis. Next up is Shuckle, another odd looking Gen 2 Pokemon. It too has odd moves and abilities. While technically it can deliver the single strongest move in Gen 2, it is only under extreme circumstances. It only learns a handful of weak moves by itself, but it does have a nice range of normal ground and rock type moves it can learn via TM. But it's its weird design and difficulty to use that make it our number four on our list. Delibird is an odd Pokemon that is a flying and ice type. It only learns one move by itself, and that is the weird normal type move, Present. While it can learn a somewhat decent moveset with moves like Fly and Blizzard being taught to it, Delibird still lacks in most stat areas. Plus, it is weak to Fire, 
electric steel and quad weak to rock type it's a combination of weird design weak stats and a weird move pool that put deli bird at number three in our runner-up spot is the unknown now this is hardly even a pokemon in my opinion they are just letters with eyes and on top of that they can only learn one move and that is hidden power that's it no tms no hms nothing just hidden power and it sucks it has absolutely no use in battle and like i said i don't care for the design yes it plays a role in the storyline of the games and it was kind of cool to collect the whole alphabet of them but other than that this is just a terrible terrible gen 2 pokemon and finally our number one worst gen 2 pokemon goes to dunsparce now this pokemon is the perfect storm of ugly design terrible stats awful move pull and overall just being useless I don't know if I've ever seen anybody use one of these in a real battle, so that should tell you something about it right there. It looks like it would have some sort of evolution, being that it's like a larval kind of state. You'd think something kind of would come out of this, kind of maybe like a Metapod to Butterfree kind of thing, where something powerful came out of a cocoon, or something like that. But no, we're just stuck with shitty old Dunsparce all the way through. Now this is easily Generation 2's worst Pokemon stat-based based off of looks no evolution all those things put together make it by far the worst but that is it for our list guys let me know what you guys think about it did i miss something do you guys use any of these pokemon was it something i should have put on the list when i should have left out the list love to read all of your comments down below so make sure you guys are doing that also if you guys can hit that like button it'd be really appreciated try and hit this video to 500 likes it really helps me out when you guys take that second and like and share my videos i really do appreciate it with you guys without you guys i have nothing so thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe for more of these videos in your sub box daily. I try and put out at least five, six videos a week for you guys. And I'm going to be going through all the generations, all the worst Pokemon, including the Moon and Sun when it comes out sometime in December. But until next time, guys, remember, it's always K-Mac time somewhere. So take it easy and peace out.